Hi, this is Coach David Halal. Um, earlier today, I was at the gym and somebody saw a shirt that I had talking about. Uh, the shirt has um, had a verse, a Bible verse on it, a biblical verse. And um, he came and said, you know, there is no God. And I turned around and, and, and looked at him. But um, and I didn't really say anything because. I don't have to convince you there is a God and you don't need to convince me there is no God. In fact, I believe everybody who says there is no God or there is any gods, they do believe in something. They either believe in themselves, they believe in money, they believe in faith because these are laws of the universe. They believe in the universe. They believe they are phys you know, um, uh, physics, quantum physics and all that. And you'll see there is a higher power than we are. Whether you call him, her, it, a God, that's your business. But one question that I have, if I am wrong, as I believe there is a God, and I even believe there is gods, but there's a greater, there has to be one that controls all the other ones. If I am wrong, what do I lose? You know? But if you are wrong about there is no God denying that there is a greater power than ourselves, than us here on earth, what do you lose? If I am wrong, what do I lose? Because I give respect to someone or something, someone greater than I. But what do you lose if you you know, uh, don't believe that there is or you deny his existence. What do you lose? That is, that is a, the question of the day. Ask yourself, what do I lose if I believe there is a God? What do I lose if I believe there is not a God? This is Coach David Halal, fearlessly and passionately pursuing the call of God. See you later. Talk to me later. Don't forget to subscribe and like my videos. Bye-bye-bye.